Franco Cavallari coming to you to talk about bone remodeling, bone density, mineralization, because everybody talks about calcium and magnesium and the requirement for vitamin D, the vitamin K, all these things factoring into critical elements that contribute to bone mineralization. The fact is, you know, if you can take as much calcium as you want and it'll load up into your bloodstream but never make it into bone mass unless all these things come together properly. But there's one thing that nobody talks about and that's inflammation. And I talk a lot about it here in this book. This book talks about how inflammation affects aging. Let me tell you, this inflammation affects the bone mass significantly. So we have two types of cells on the bone that, that support mo modeling and remodeling of the bone, osteoclasts and osteoblasts. And osteoclasts are designed to actually take minerals out of the bone and then allow them to become peripheral so that the body gets minerals it needs in the tissues, in the cells, as cofactors for enzymes and for other things to manage metabolic activity within the cell. Now, those minerals can come back if you're supplying sufficient minerals in the diet, but the osteoblast competes with the osteoclast and it brings bone uh, minerals back into the bone, remodeling bone. And in fact, depending on who you talk to, that bone mass, your entire bone mass can be remodeled at a rate of 10 to 20% per year, complete turnover. So that, I don't know, between six months and a year, uh, significant amounts of bone mass are turned over and remodeled, replaced, and reconfigured to be healthier if your diet is healthy. Problem is, inflammation slows down the osteoblast. Osteoblast brings bone minerals into the bone to remodel bone. Osteoclast is continuously taking them off to break down the bone and remove minerals to the periphery of the body for the body to use it in tissues for metabolism. You see, so there has to be a constant recycling of both of them working in tandem and in conjunction with each other to allow for efficient breakdown and remodeling to occur on a constant effective uh, um, tide. But if your body is experiencing subclinical inflammation, and this happens with age, we don't feel the inflammation, but that aging is a function of inflammation and vice versa. The inflammation escalates with age because our body's capacity to control subclinical inflammation we don't feel declines with age. And so we have to use countermeasures. You know, exercise supports regulation and better management of that inflammation. We can use supplements like curcumin that help to downregulate that subclinical inflammation you don't generally feel, but interferes with recovery. And specifically, slows down the osteoblast so it can't take minerals back in to the bone mass to rebuild bone mass and remodel. Doesn't matter how much calcium, magnesium, vitamin D you use, if inflammation is out of check, your body's not rebuilding and remodeling bone the way it should.